Today we're going to look at a feature that's part of the subscription to PowerPoint 365 or Office 365 called Design Ideas. This is a pretty powerful feature in that it gives us motivation and inspiration for dressing up our slides and making them look really nice. So I'm going to start with a couple of slides. These are bland slides. One has a title and a list and the other has a title and a paragraph. And we're going to see what can we do to dress up these slides. If you don't have the design ideas open already, you can access it either on the design tab on the far right or on the home screen and select design ideas. And what it does is PowerPoint works with what you have on the screen in order to create some interesting layouts that you can utilize. This might include putting shapes or converting things to smart art or putting in graphics on the slide. Now I'm not giving PowerPoint a whole lot to work with with just the title and a list. So let me go ahead and insert a picture. I'm going to grab something from stock art and let me just grab this first thing that I have here, a purple bokeh effect image. Now that this is on my slide, and it doesn't matter how big or even if it's off to the side, I have some content that PowerPoint can utilize to generate ideas. And you can see some of those ideas over here. I can get more ideas by scrolling down. And again, it's really just a way to get some inspiration, to get some ideas on what I can do. And if I select one of these, then you can see that it converts the elements on the screen to the thumbnail over here. What's interesting is if I insert some more pictures, then you can see the design ideas update. So I'm going to put in with the purple, I'm going to put in some blue and some pink and maybe some yellow and green. So I'm going to go ahead and insert these four images. And then you can see some interesting ideas turning out. If I like the layout but I want to change one of the images, I can just right click and change the picture and I can choose from stock images or an online image or something that I have on my computer. And the PowerPoint design ideas feature will support up to six images on the screen. And with images, I can also include maybe cut out people, icons, or stickers. I'm going to add the sleeping panda to my presentation. And it's interesting. So when you add or when you take away elements on the screen, then the design ideas adjust accordingly. Now, if you take this design slide right here, what they did is they have my images and they created shapes. They put various shapes on the screen and then they just put the images into the shapes, which means I can go in and go to the crop feature, for example, and I can move things within the shape. Suppose I want this sleeping panda to be completely encapsulated within that shape. I can go into the crop and I can adjust that. I can move it around within the shape as well. And likewise with one of these pictures, I can go into the crop and I can make it larger and move it around as well. So let's hop over to this other slide and explore some options here. Now just with the content I have on the slide, they offer me some suggestions. And if I like this, but the grapes don't really appeal to the content of the slide, I can go ahead and replace that. It's an icon, so I can go ahead and change that to a different icon, something that's more appropriate to my content. I can go into the format and I can fill it and outline it with different things. I can convert it to a shape if I wanted even more control over it. But now let's go back to the beginning and I'm going to insert a couple of images. I'm going to search for an office setting, perhaps this skyline, and then I'm going to grab a couple of people as well. Now with them selected, I can choose a design that I like, and then I'm going to go in and modify this a little bit. I can drag her down so that she fits in a little bit better. Same for him. I'm going to move him around just a little bit. And then with the skyline, I'll make that a little bit more accentuated. So perhaps this is a design that I like a little bit better. One last trick I'll show you when I go back to this first slide and duplicate it, then I can go to another design idea and then come up to the transitions tab and morph and it'll actually change the shapes on the screen so that it morphs into the new slide. And that in itself is a pretty interesting effect. So once again, the design ideas feature in PowerPoint is not perfect, but it is a great start to give you some motivation and inspiration on ways that you can choose creative layouts for your slides.